so welcome back to Reedhead Homestead. I'm so happy to have you guys here today. I am going to be taking you through my most used tools to get the job done. This is something that you guys are always asking, you're leaving comments, wondering what are the top tools that I'm using? What are the tools that I recommend for DIY beginners? or if you just bought your first fixer upper and you're not sure where to start. So I'm gonna go through all of my favorites with you guys today and let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see behind me, there are quite a few tools and we're gonna be talking about all of these today, but my first thing that I wanted to chat with you guys about is my number one item always on my tool belt and that is a positive mindset. You guys are always asking me, how did you learn how to do this? Well, let me tell you what, it's a positive mindset, okay? <laughs> it's really, all it is, because as you're working through projects, you're gonna encounter things that you have never done before, you don't know how to figure it out, maybe you gotta hop on YouTube and do a little bit of research, you gotta call your family, figure this thing out. It sometimes can be really hard and really frustrating, and as long as you have a positive mindset, you're always gonna look back on those projects and remember how much fun it was and remember all the learning that you did with that project because let me tell you what, it's inevitable. You're gonna have issues that you're gonna run into, but if you have a positive mindset, that is gonna help you sail through your projects no matter what. So number one thing on your tool belt, positive mindset. So getting to the tools, I thought I would start with my top items that I would recommend for like the base, absolute smallest part of your collection. Let's say you have nothing and you need to go to the store and pick up your first few things. Um, I would definitely recommend some tape measures, a basic set of screwdrivers, usually a flathead and a Phillips head. Those will get you by with a lot of stuff. And then also um, a hammer, a mallet. These are just, you know, like your absolute basics of what you have to have. And some levels. So <laughs> you don't have to have like all of these, but I will tell you over time, you're probably gonna end up with all of these. You know, sometimes you just need a little guy. This is what Mark and I started out with, and this is what we had for a very long time. And then we moved to some bigger ones that I use all the time now as well. You know, it's funny because Mark and I did not have you know, levels for actually quite a while. And so we just used to eyeball things, but I always tell Mark, I'm like, that that was our, we were in training at that time. We were using our eyeballs. And now I feel like to this day, we still use our eyeballs for a lot of things. But when we really need to get into some intricate stuff that you need to be level, you're gonna be thankful to have those on hand. So these are definitely just like, you know, your absolute basics of what you gotta have. Let's say you have nothing. These are what you're gonna want. You know, you don't have to have the fanciest of everything up front just to be able to do a couple things around your house. Aside from those absolute basics, my next recommendation would be some drills. And this is the best time of year to get drills. Holiday sets from brands are gonna start coming out and they usually have awesome sets where you can get a regular drill, you can get an impact driver. Mark and I were able to get a circular saw in one of those sets. Sometimes they'll even come with a bit set, some chargers, you can really get a good deal. So be on the lookout for those this time of year. They also make really good gifts. You know, I am always saying, why are we buying newlyweds cake pans? Stop buying cake pans and toaster ovens. It's about the tools. They will love you for it. They will thank you forever. Tools are such a wonderful gift and definitely when you're getting started as a newlywed couple, it's something that you're gonna wanna have. So those are some great things to be on the lookout for this time of year. And going right into the next item that I would recommend that you can get a lot a lot done with would be a circular saw. So our circular saw is actually something that is very near and dear to my heart. Aside from drills, this was actually the first power tool that I used and I was like so impromptu, I was forced to use it. Mark and I had come home from work one day and there had just been a horrible storm going on and one of our trees in our backyard fell down and it took Mark and I both lifting up this tree to get this thing standing back up and Mark is out there in this storm holding the tree and he's like, Kylie, I need you to go to the garage. I need you to get the circular saw. I need you to get the two by fours, cut that thing at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna stake it down into the ground and get those trees secured. And I'm like, I can't do it. What do you want me to do? You want me to use this thing? Like I was freaking out and Mark's like, you can do it, you can do it. I just remember him yelling at me like, you can do it, just do it, you know? And in a loving way, I will say, but in a very stressful situation. And so I did it, I did it. I cut the two by fours down, we were able to get the tree back up, but it was, it was 
very scary at that time, but I'm so glad that happened because it really forced me to get over my fear and use this thing. And it's super fun to use actually. So if you haven't used one and you're a little nervous, just do it, rip off that mandate and get it done because you will be forever thankful. Next up from a circular saw is a miter saw. This is my baby. Once I got my hands on this thing and I cut my first piece of shiplap, I was hooked. It was like, holy cow, I could not believe I just cut that piece of wood. <laughs> it was like the best feeling ever and I was so addicted, still am addicted. It's my favorite tool in my collection and this really, really opens up possibilities of your projects. And you know what the thing is? These are not like the most expensive tools. None of my tools are really the most expensive tools. I really encourage you guys, if you are a beginner DIYer or you're new to buying tools, to definitely not go in and just buy the absolute most expensive tool because that's what's the most highly rated. It's okay to buy things that are maybe a little bit lower cost. This thing has been absolutely wonderful and it has got me through all of my projects. And now I know how much I use this that later on when this thing dies out on me, which I don't think it's going to anytime soon, but when it finally dies out on me, I know how much I've used this tool and it gives me a sense of how much I wanna spend on my next one. So, you know, starting maybe at a little bit lower cost on some of these tools just to get you started and really see how much you use them, hey, that is the perfect way to get yourself introduced into some of this stuff. And then that way later on, you can make a more educated decision instead of going, you know what, I never really use this circular saw, so my next one that I'm gonna buy, I'm not gonna buy a $200 circular saw, maybe I'm gonna buy, you know, a $70 one, whatever. The next item that I would recommend is nailers. And I was so surprised. When we went to buy nailers, I was so surprised by how expensive they were. I do have, in our collection, we've got a brad nailer and a pin nailer. Out of the two of these, this is my favorite, but this is my most used. So if you're not sure what to buy, get yourself a brad nailer. You're gonna be able to do a lot of projects with this. Um, we do, as you guys can see, we've got the air powered ones. There are sets I've seen where you can get an air compressor and a brad nailer in that set for a really good deal. So if you guys are looking at getting one of these, I do recommend doing that. I know it's all the rave right now to use the battery powered ones. They are really expensive in my opinion. Um, that's definitely an investment tool and I think it's if it's something that you're doing all the time that's super convenient, but I actually prefer this because I wanna be nailing whatever I wanna be nailing. I don't mind having a hose with me, especially those little pancake air compressors. I do have one of those. And you can just take that thing around with you around your house. It's no big deal. Whereas if you're doing the battery one and your battery dies, you better have a backup battery because you can't be waiting on a battery while you're trying to nail stuff, okay? <laughs> I don't got time for that, so I love these. These are the Metabo ones, these are from Lowe's, and we have been super happy with these. My next item that I would recommend is a sander. This is an orbital sander, and I love this thing. This one is definitely my favorite. I have used it on so many projects, and it has been wonderful. I actually sanded all of my floors in my house with this thing. This sander and I, we have been through a lot, and it is still holding up to this day. So thank you very much, Ryobi. This one has been wonderful. My last little items that I wanna to recommend to you guys is some safety glasses. Um, these are a recent purchase for me and I have been loving them. They are so comfortable. Um, they're dirty, <laughs> but they've got the side protection here as well, which I love because when I'm using this, like I tell you what, my, my eyes get so much sawdust in them, it's not even funny. So these have been wonderful. Um, I don't know, I don't think I mentioned clamps. Clamps are your best friend. You don't know you need clamps until you have them, and then when you don't have them, you're like, I need my clamps. So if you're questioning on if you need clamps, just pick them up, just get them. You can get these ones in a set. These are the DeWalt. It comes with two big ones, two little ones. You know, it's just funny, Mark and I laugh about how far we have come and how much we love clamps. Because it used to be like, Mark, you hold this piece of wood and I'm gonna hold this one and we're gonna try to assemble this thing together. Yeah, just get yourself some clamps. You will not regret it. Um, another one of my absolute favorite tools is a speed square. I love these. I do recommend both sizes. They're not very expensive, but they are super handy. Can I joke because we were building our barn doors on our last house. Um, we built some barn doors for our garage door instead. And I will never forget, Mark was trying to cut a 45 degree angle. We didn't have these. And I asked him, I said, how do you know that that's 45 degrees? And he's like, I don't. <laughs> he's like, it just looks like it 
it'll fit. So we'll just, you know, cut that and see how it goes. And once we got our hands on one of these, Mark and I were like, oh gosh, what have we been missing out on? So just get yourself one of these. They're not very expensive and you're gonna always have perfect 45 degree angles every single time. Also lots of different angles. There's a lot of uses for these. You can watch little videos on YouTube about what these do and all the little uses for them and you will be mind blown. Certainly last but not least would be a stud finder. For the longest time, Mark and I were just knocking on our walls trying to find those studs. And finally, we added one of these to our collection and it has been absolutely wonderful and has helped us so much with our projects. So if you're doing projects at home and you're kind of getting into DIY, just pick one of these up as well and you will absolutely not regret it. So this does conclude my most used tools that I've been using to get my projects done. I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about these products and what they do. And I hope this helped you if you are a new DIYer. Welcome to the journey. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing that you're either trying to get some gift ideas or you're maybe starting a reno journey or your first fixer upper or you're just genuinely interested in dabbling in some DIY, maybe a little bit of word working. If that's what you're here for, you are on the right channel. And for those of you who have been with me for quite some time, you also know how much I love painting. I love painting. And so if you guys would be interested in a video where I put together all of my favorite paint items, I'd be happy to do that for you guys. So leave a comment down below if that's something that you're interested in. And as always, thank you so much for being here. We always have more in store. So stay tuned, stick around, and I will catch you guys really soon. Bye.